Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll talk about mosaicing. We use example data, land satellite data, and we'll focus on a study area, Nigeria. Let's look at countries database. I'll declare variable countries and import a fusion table by writing or declaring ee.feature collection and usually if you want to import a fusion collection you have this ft colon and then you will provide your fusion um, table id that way you can import the fusion table and because this is a global data worded country so i'll select um, uh, or filter by country uh, in this example i'll select nigeria and i'll define a variable uh, nigeria and then subset the country's database and filter it by country and I'll uh, call Nigeria for in your case if you want to change this country you can you know change this name and then it will automatically give you a different country's boundary and I will uh, map or display these uh, you know Nigeria subsidiary country um, and let's see that by running because I didn't define a map center object, it's not gonna zoom it to Nigeria. Um, I can do that here by writing map center object. Map center. Okay, perfect. And then I'll call Nigeria. That means I would like to zoom um, to my study area as this shape file, which is Nigeria. Now it should um, zoom to Nigeria. I'll uh, provide the Google Maps so that we can have uh, names here. And okay, perfect. This is our study area uh, for this exercise. And the next step is to load um, a Landsat imagery uh, for this exercise. I will use a Landsat 8 here. Uh, as you can see here, LC08 is a Landsat 8, um, top of atmospheric reflectance data. And for this example, I'll use um, only uh, one month's uh, data. That means 2060 January 1st to January 30th. That means for only you know one month's period, okay? We're gonna do a mosaicing exercise, so we don't need like too too much data. So I'll just uh, you know focus uh, on a one month's data for now, and also filter bound uh, bounds, which would um, subset our data with a given shape file. In this case, I'll subset it to Nigeria, and this is um, a lot of data. In fact, even though it's a one month's data here. Uh, January uh, 2016 and also uh, subsided by uh, Nigeria country's boundary um, it's closer to 100 you know Landsat scenes let's test that um, to check the number of image uh, found in this image collection I'll print image um, here the image collection and then define dot size this will give me the total number of uh, images found in this image collection and it should show up in the console let's run that Okay, so as I um, expected, it's uh, closer to 100 Landsat seats, which is a large number of, you know, Landsat, uh, you know, scenes. Um, so to visualize each of these is kind of time consuming. So um, that's why we need mosaicing. So what mosaicing does is it will um, display all these 98 imageries into a single image without doing like um, any other analysis, just simply for, you know, visualization purpose. So let's do the mosaicing. Here I'll define um, a variable called image mosaic. I'll just name this, um, you can name it differently, but I, I choose to remember image mosaic. Um, it reminds me that I did mosaicing and then import this image collection and then apply mosaic algorithm, which does uh, mosaic all of this 98 image into a single image. And to have a pretty nice looking visualization, let's define a visualization parameter as always and define the, the bands, um, you know, as always, I'll, uh, I'll like to define the true color bands here in Landsat 8 band 432 are the RGB and define a max um, for the reflectance value. And uh, finally, um, 
display my map by calling map dot add layer and which image I'm uh, inputting the image mosaic to so the mosaic image. So this is um, a mosaic of the result of a mosaic of uh, about 98 Landsat scenes. That's a lot of data. And then um, I'll call my visualization parameter here, which is already defined here. And then I'll name it uh, Mosaic Landsat, which should show up in, in this layers um, menu. And uh, as always, I can define the map center object, uh, which is also defined here, but it, it's not a problem if I define it again. And if I run that, I'll, I'll just have uh, all the Landsat image that overlay was in, within in this city, the steady boundary or uh, the boundary of uh, admin boundary of Nigeria. Let's see that. I run the, the algorithm. Here we go. So now what we have is a mosaic of, let's just uh, check and let's remove it. Um, and this is the boundary of Nigeria. Here is the... Um, here is the the mosaic version of you know the image uh, overlaid on 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 Ni over Nigeria. So now what you can see here is it's just you know some of the images are you know pretty clear. You see you know this part of you know the you know the Nigeria doesn't have uh, probably this part of the season is not like rainy or cloud contaminated. So pretty you know clear sky. Um, clear image, but in some areas you have a pretty, you know, pretty much cloud contamination. The image looks uh, pretty, you know, blurred and um, cloud shadows, well as cloud is, you know, um, contaminating the image. So which is which is um, a bad image for some sort of analysis. So um, we'll do that in in the upcoming lectures on how to remove clouds and, um, you know generate a pretty, a pretty uh, clean uh, and uh, uh, good looking um, data and removing clouds um, uh, so that you'll have um, reasonable values for any kind of analysis that you're interested to do on your data. So this is technically not doing any cloud removal or just, you know, uh, atmospheric correction or just, we're just simply doing a simple mosaic using 98 Landsat scenes over uh, the entire Nigeria. So that's kind of uh, how you can do a mosaic using Earth Engine uh, uh, in this example using a Landsat uh, data.